Downtown Tuscaloosa is back to normal tonight after an early morning gunfire sent two to the hospital. WVUA's Emily Forrester joins us now live in the studio in tonight's top story. Tuscaloosa police arrested one of those sent to the hospital, 27-year-old LaKendrick Warren Pruitt, in connection with the shooting. Tuscaloosa Police Chief Steve Anderson says officers were already on the scene when shots were fired. There have been multiple instances uh, where like commotions and uh, fights breaking out outside and whatnot. With spray paint still marking the scene of the shooting, downtown Tuscaloosa's Temerson Square on 4th Street has returned to normal. We had officers that were patrolling this area as part of a downtown strip detail that we do on the weekend nights. When shots were fired around 1 a.m. Saturday morning, those in the area took cover as quickly as possible. We heard gunshots and we basically got everybody to the back and uh, shut the curtains, lock the door. Authorities say an officer saw 27-year-old LaKendrick Warren Pruitt pull a handgun and shoot a 20-year-old male in front of Kennedy's bar. The officer approached the gentleman, pulled his gun, identified himself as a police officer. The individual turned, pointed a weapon at the officer, and the officer fired on the individual. Anderson says Pruitt and the 20-year-old male were being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Pruitt is now charged with attempted murder and reckless endangerment. Witnesses say police presence in the area helped with a quick law enforcement response. It's great that they're down here, and I think they handled the situation pretty well. But Saturday morning's event has some people questioning security. Something definitely needs to be done about the occurring instances, and uh, you know, I don't know what exactly needs to happen, but something definitely needs to happen. Pruitt is being held on $320,000 bond. Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide is investigating the crimes against the victim and police officers, while the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office is investigating the officer-involved shooting part of the incident. Emily Forrester, WVUA News.